Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And today, my wife Marion and I are going to be playing some Sim City. We wanted, for the first episode of our Sim Pals series, to do an overview of the Berghausen Hills, the region that we'll be playing in this map. Now, some of you may have noticed that the servers have been down, like, pretty much all the time. And so we're actually doing this little preview using a cookie cake that Marion has created and shaped into Berghausen Hills. Now, first, we're going to accent some of the natural resources here of this area. Okay, now, for example, on top of that plateau up there, you got some coal. So what we got here are some Oreo crumbles, and we're just going to crumble all those right there. Boom. Oreos crumbled. Now, yeah, we're just going to kind of mash that in. Now, that's densest at the middle part here. For those of you who find the camera view disconcerting, let me tell you something about SimCity. You actually play as like a mayor who is in a dirigible. So you're always way up in the sky yelling stuff down like, no, there's not coal right there. It goes up there. You know, that sort of thing. Now, there's also a smattering of iron ore in here. Or actually just ore. It might not be iron, but it is red. So, I don't know. In terms of oxidized ore, I, I think there's like kind of seven splotches. So we're just going to put seven jelly beans here. That's that's about, that, that's perfectly seven. Okay. So there's our ore distribution. Now, we've got this little ice and canister here that connects to the highway as roads. And we were thinking that, here's the highway connection right there. We were thinking we would come up on either side of this valley and have our fancy residential stuff over here are kind of lower quality residential over here along with some industrial. So uh, let's, uh, Marion, would you like to make this road? You are the pastry chef of wonder here. I'm just gonna get really low for this shot. Boom, historic road making is happening right here. I've also got a wonderful view of the net weight of that bottle. It is exactly 4.25 ounces, or it was, not anymore. Much like in SimCity, how you spend the currency known as simoleons, which is a, a French word for a Portuguese word for currency. It's really backwards, but the, these game people, they love historical accuracy. Anyway, so much like we would spend simoleons to create the road, in this case we are spending the weight of that um, ice in container. So when we're out of our 4.25 ounces, we can no longer make roads, essentially. Sure. So yeah, just go up there. And now we're probably going to want to make a T coming the other way as well. So yeah, that, that, that's a good start. But we're also going to want to cut up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to branch off and have our inter have our primary intersection go two ways. This is, uh, I'm really wishing I had one of them crazy fiber optic cameras so I could embed it within the cookie cake and you'd see the roads being laid like from underneath. You'd be like, whoa, that, that's a lot of icing. That's really intense. Okay, so we're having some road difficulties. Now, these roads actually are splines, which are kind of a mathematical network mechanism, so they have to connect to each other. Otherwise, it's just icing on top of a cake, which is acceptable if you're making a cake, but not acceptable if you are planning a beautiful city, which is what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to put our high-end residential up here because our wind is going to blow this way. And so if we uh, put some uh, mining operations, let's uh, see, what do we want to use for our mining operation? We'll use this red thing. Boom. Mining operation there, all the wind, whoosh, that way. Over here. No good. Not, not affecting these people down here. Now, we might not want to initially build a mining operation on top of the ore. It's going to depend on how our budget is. But what we are going to want to do, our train tracks are actually... Uh, they run along this side as well. Marianne, would you mind making a strap with the uh, thing there? Now, what I have found is if you put all residential by itself, then your businesses freak out because there's you know no shoppers near them. So we're actually going to mix over here. We're going to have some high wealth residential and commercial mixed in at a good ratio. Oh, good, good. There's our train line. Now we're going to have some industrial along here that's going to connect to our train via a train station. We'll just go ahead and use like this green loop for train station. I don't know why. Now then we will have some lower income um, stuff over here and down there. So we're just going to throw some commercial and residential jelly beans into the mix. You know, throw zones at it. You just the more RCI you get in this game, the better off you are. 
But now I know you guys are wondering, wait, you covered all, all the RCI and your, you know, ore and stuff, but what about, what are you going to do for water and resources? Now, okay, what we're probably going to do for water is set up a pump kind of right along here, kind of on the edge of our high wealth area. So, a uh, water pump right here. Now, we're going to set up our town hall because that's a great wealth or increaser right here. And that's these white, oh no, we're losing residentials. Uh, people are moving out. Um, too expensive there. So we're going to have our town hall and our high wealth residential up there. Now, our trash and our sewage, these are going to be our sewage beans. Sewage beans are going to, you always want to have those way downwind of everything. So we're actually probably going to have those down in this little crevice back here as well as our trash dump, because you might as well do sewage and trash in the same place. Now, what I'd like to do down the line is actually to open up a really classy recycling joint and then set that up here along the train line so we can, you know, run that right back out and, uh, you know, have that go along the train line. We can sell that to the other cities, set up trade depots and whatnot throughout here. Um, okay, so let's see, what have we not covered? Uh, Marion, is there anything that you think I'm missing? Um, not at the moment, or at least not for the initial game. Yeah, now as we get further in, we're going to need police and fire coverage. Yeah. And when we start off, we're only going to have money for one police station and one fire station. And at wow, this low angle, it's hard for me to hold a steady camera on. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, we'll it's set up... Probably right there, maybe? Yeah, we'll set up our police station and... Uh, Okay, so we use orange to represent our police and fire stations. So we'll have uh, police over here by our high wealth area because they really like police presence. That makes them feel like they're not going to have their stereos stolen. And we're going to set up our fire station kind of par or, uh, reflected against it kind of. Um, over here, we'll put a red jelly bean in there. Red jelly bean for fire. And uh, people who make stereos really like having their factories not burned down. So, you know, overall, we kind of got our coverage across the board there. Now, as we expand even further, I'd like to put, like, a, a clinic right here, because that'll treat people with both in both areas. So, um, then we've got health as well. And uh, that's really as far as you can plan without, like, getting into the game, because you don't know what other people in the region are doing. We're going to be playing with Good, Jucetra, Doc M, I Am Spoon, and, like, I don't know, 10 other guys. It's going to be awesome. So we're really excited, but this is just your introduction to Berghausen Hills on Sim Pals with Marion and Joe. And uh, Marion, you haven't really said much at this point. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> I, I should practice not monologuing. I should practice dialoguing. Let's create a dialogue. How do you feel when you see this? What do you think about the colors? Um, looks like there's a bunch of bunch of bugs crawling all over um, cookie cake. Well, when you're a mayor looking down <laughs> at people from your magic dirigible that you plot from, that's what the people do look like. They are little bugs, and all they want is more shops or less shops or more this or more that. Oh, yeah, we forgot to, we forgot to make parks. Um, so, let's see, what represents parks? Well, um, yeah, I was going to say, we'll just uh, we'll throw some green. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to, you want some high wealth parks over here. Some mid wealth parks over here. To appease the masses. Yeah, just to appease the masses. Maybe a park down here. Um, what I figure we'll probably end up doing later on as uh, the industrial people demand more low income workers is over here where we got the uh, you know the sewage and the trash. We'll just throw some low income housing down there because that'll that'll keep them appeased. Um, so yeah, that I think is a pretty good summary of our plan for Berghausen Hills, and we're probably going to rename this. I was thinking of renaming it Joe and Marion Hills, but maybe Marion and Joe Hills, or what, what do you think? Um, Sour Hills. Sour Hills. Oh, by the way, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, like, oh, if you guys are spending all this time making a cookie cake and throwing jelly beans on top of it, who's over there rapidly clicking the button trying to join the queue for the SimCity? And, well, you know what? Honestly, they put you in a 20-minute timed queue. So you don't even have to, you know, be clicking the button. You just have somebody watching it. Luckily, as, you know, mayor and deputy mayor, or co-deputy mayor, let's be co-deputy mayor. Yes, let's. Okay? So that way none of us is like, oh, I'm the mayor. Because, like, I don't want to start a fight over that. And, but, like, if I was like, I'm co-deputy mayor, 
then you'll be like, no, I'm co-deputy mayor. And then we'll be, be like, yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, when you're going to be co-deputy mayor, you got to learn to delegate the little things to somebody else. <laughs> and so we've had our most patient little worker, and we've got her watching that queue, and we will be in the game as soon as we can. Anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm joined by my beautiful wife, Marion. Any final words, Marion? Keep adventuring. That's what I was going to say. Um, I guess I'll say have a good one and don't dehydrate, drink some juice, cetera, and um, don't forget to bring your fork, knife, and I am spoon to the picnic because utensils will not be provided. And for medical assistance, call Doc M77 and look up in the schism. It's a bird, it's a plane, and wow, I'm running out of these. Um, don't buy the generic Brie brand, b Rand. Buy the specific, or name brand? Yeah. Name brand, that sounds good. Um, wow, okay, there's like eight other people still playing on the server that I haven't made puns about their names. See, this is what happens when you steal from me. Yeah. I, have to, I have to create something that's even worse. So, yeah, anyway, guys, keep adventuring. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Yeah. Um. Um. Mm -hmm. um. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that was okay. Well, mm-hmm.